Hey guys, thanks for joining me for this video. Um, I wanted to kind of go over a bit on, on the low shoe. And um, in Flying Star Feng Shui, we deal a lot with a mountain star and a sitting star. So for anyone who's not familiar with what those, what that would look like in the low shoe square or what they stand for and resemble, um, I'm gonna give you guys a quick overview on that. So let me share my screen. <clears throat> Okay, so this, for example, right here, this is a low shoe, and you can see there are multiple numbers within um, different sectors. Uh, so it's based on all the different directions as well. Um, now to start with the period star, so the bigger numbers you see in the middle, that's relating to um, like a base star, it's a time period. And that's based off of when you guys or the occupants have moved into the home. Um, for example, let me show you here. So there is, in Flying Star Feng Shui, there's a, hundred, a cycle of 180 years, um, consisting of nine periods, and they're 20 years each. Um, so for example, uh, you know, a majority of us are probably gonna fall into the period eight category where you've moved into your home within, um, say, between February 4th, 2004 until February 3rd, 2024. Um, but there's also, I've listed some other periods here you can take a look at uh, to see what's applicable for for your uh, yourself. Um, so this, for example, number eight uh, is based off of this chart. So thus, you'll see the eight, nine, four, two, six. So there's numbers one to nine, and they all fly based on the time period. Now with the base star, we don't use that star to remedy or activate. It's just part of the calculation to determine where the positive and negative auras are. So we can see what the combinations of the mount and the sitting star are. And that's what we use to remedy um, or use to activate in certain areas of our home. So for example, if we start with um, the left hand corner, um, you can see it's circled and it's labeled as a sitting star. So this is also known as the sitting star or a mountain star. Um, and it'll be located like each palace of your home will have a sitting star and a mountain star. And what this star represents is your overall health, um, relationships, uh, romantic partners, um, all of that good stuff. But when it comes to the facing star, that's when we're dealing with uh, more your wealth, uh, finances, business, um, and all those financial matters. So that's kind of the difference between the sitting star and the mountain star. Uh, sorry, the sitting star and the facing star. Um, but those are there's tons of different combinations based on the correct facing of your home. So the first step would be to determine what period you're in. After that, we would have to look at uh, finding out um, what the correct facing of your building is. Uh, usually it's the front door, but not always. So that's that's for another video. Um, but once you have the correct facing, you can take a compass uh, measurement, and then we can determine which numbers are in your sitting star and mountain star. Um, so hopefully that clarifies it. Um, if you guys have any questions, let me know. I'd love to help you guys out some more. Um, but thanks for joining me. Have a good day. Bye.